You're watching 11 Alive Morning News. 11 minutes of nonstop news starts now. Right now, your 11 minutes of nonstop news. Families and communities are grieving after senseless shootings took the lives of two young people. How they're being remembered this morning. Plus, the journey home isn't always smooth. We have your holiday travel outlook as thousands return from their Thanksgiving getaways. And heading back to school, back to work. It's going to be a lovely day. Pleasant out there. We'll have plenty of sunshine around. It's going to be very nice. But we're going to talk about some changes coming our way pretty soon. First in your 11 minutes of nonstop news, a family is mourning the loss of a young boy shot and killed near Atlantic Station. Atlanta leaders are condemning the senseless act of violence. Liza Lucas joins us in studio with more this morning. Liza. Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens says the loss of a child impacts the whole city. Zion Charles's family knows that loss deeply as they deal with the hole the little boy leaves behind. Just very funny. He was a funny child, very respectful, just a typical child. Just wanted to hang out, have fun with his friends and family, and he was loved. Police say Saturday's shooting happened after a large group was escorted off Atlantic Station property by off-duty officers for unruly behavior and viola violating rather the area's curfew. The investigation continues this morning, and we are continuing to check with police for the latest on any suspects. At last check, we should also say another teen who was also injured remains in critical condition. Liza, thank you. Sticking with your 11 minutes of nonstop news, a family in DeKalb County also mourning the loss of a teenage boy this morning. Police say he was killed while attending a candlelight vigil for another victim. This all happened as people gathered along Flat Shoals Parkway last night to remember a man recently shot and killed during an attempted home invasion. Police say someone fatally shot the 17 year old before running away. A 16 and 11 year old were also shot one in the hand, the other in the finger. Police say they are expected to be OK. We are expecting to learn more today about a fire that killed a four year old girl and put her twin sister in the hospital. East Point police say their mother, Nicole Jackson, was arrested and charged on Thanksgiving, just one day after that fire ripped through the Brookfield complex. She's now facing charges of arson and murder. Today is the last day to request an absentee ballot in the Georgia Senate runoff race. Remember, absentee ballots have to be back at the county registrar's office by the time polls close on Election Day, December 6th, which means if you're requesting one now, you have less than a week to get it, fill it out, and return it. Election Day again, December 6th. The plus, the wait's over for Metro Atlanta's first Whataburger. The fast food chain's opening its new location in Kennesaw today at 11 a.m. That's in Town Park Lane. Whataburger is a chain based in Texas, but it plans to open 10 other locations in the metro area next year. We've got the list for you on 11alive.com. Continuing your 11 minutes of nonstop news with an update on your holiday travel outlook. Thousands of people heading home today after a weekend with friends or family. Jerry Carnes is live from Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. Jerry, not been an easy trip back for everybody. Now that's right, Cheryl. Travelers who arrived here at Hartsfield Jackson at the main security checkpoint prior to about 5.30 this morning faced a line that went all the way through the atrium. That is no longer the case. Take a look here. The wait at the main security checkpoint now down under 15 minutes. You see it moving there. North uh, checkpoint and TSA pre-check also under 15 minutes. Today is going to be a combination of holiday travelers along with Monday morning business travelers and a few flight delays. And that's why Hartsfield Jackson continues to advise people to arrive two and a half to three hours prior to their flight. We talked to a woman this morning who was traveling back home to New York. She did not heed that advice. I'm very stressed because nobody gave me the exact location where to push my mother because she's in a wheelchair. So they had me go all the way around until I finally got to a destination. So, yeah, it's a little frustrating. Worried about missing your flight? Absolutely. Flight delays and cancellations were a big problem yesterday. More than 4,000 flights delayed. But as you continue to look at the wait here at the main security checkpoint at Hartsfield Jackson, I can tell you there are only a handful of delays here at Hartsfield Jackson, and most of them are only a few minutes or so. Back to you.
All right, Jerry, thank you. Okay, tell me, tell me, tell me, what is in your cart? You might already be browsing those Cyber Monday deals. The biggest day for online shopping is expected to be even bigger this year. We're sharing some tips from the Better Business Bureau to help you shop a little smarter. First, price check before you buy. Tons of stores claim to have the best prices, but some deals are misleading, so do some research. Next, take advantage of rewards and loyalty programs, and finally, understand the return policies. A recent survey of retail executives found 60% are making changes to their return policies with fewer promising free returns. Experts say to expect shorter windows for returns this holiday season and you might even be charged a restocking fee for returns in the mail. Right after 11 Live Morning News today has you covered with tips to find deals on items you may not expect to be on sale, Chesley. Mm, I got to check it out. Take a look. If you're going out by noon today, expect the sunshine. Wear your shades, folks. You can do that. 59 degrees will be a temperature by noon on our way to 63 degrees for an afternoon high. Close to where we should be for this time of year. In fact, just slightly above. We'll hold on to that sun and clear skies tonight as well. Driving home, you'll see fair skies. Look how big that moon is right there. 55 degrees will be a temperature by 6 o'clock. Uh, we'll be going down to the 40s for overnight lows. Going to start you off with the sunshine tomorrow, but then by Wednesday, that's what brings the rain our way. Be advised. All right, guys. Real tree, fake tree. Oh, fake. 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 Real all the way. <laughs> I knew King of Christmas was going to say real. <laughs> the smell of Fraser fur, the sap on your fingers. The oh, vacuuming up the of pine, pine needles. needles. Yes. Uh, no, no, no. I bought mine 15 no. years ago, so it was cheap. You can buy spray oh. crash for that. <laughs> oh. oh, I can't. Have a great day, everybody. Today's show is next. Oh, not my coworkers. <laughs>